Hi everybody, Vlad32 here and tonight I'm looking at a game by Black Shell Games which um, I found the other day um, just by chance on, on Twitter and um, it basically um, popped up to say it was um, selling at a fantastic price so I thought this sounds interesting, I'll have a look at it and it's a game called A Sanctuary RPG by Black Shell Games okay and what what this game is 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 um, an ASCII based um, RPG. I've actually been playing it um, quite a bit today, so you can see that's experience earned in total as, as I've played my characters, how many enemies I've slain, how many items I've found, um, <clears throat> and I've just found out today that it's been it's been um, put up for green light. It's on Steam, so um, if you want to go and help them out and get them onto Steam, that'd be fantastic. So anyway, let's get going. So click on new game and I've got the tutorial on which is fine and we can select our character class. We've got Barbarian, Paladin, Assassin, Wizard, Druid and Ranger. Now the only one that I've had any real success with is the Barbarian. Now, the other characters and types I've played, a few of them, but I've struggled a little bit. So it's just a matter of them practice I guess, but I'm going to go with Barbarian. It's a fantastic nice sound. There is some good music with the game but I've had to turn that off because it's not volume controlled and it is quite loud. So if you do get the game, um, you, you'll be able to hear the fantastic music. So we're a vanilla barbarian, full of creativity and quirkiness. I'm sorry, sarcasm doesn't communicate well over text. <laughs> you are the most average warrior to have ever walked the planet. You fight things and while you're at it, you don't earn style points. Okay, so we can look at our detailed perks. And I won't go through all these, but these basically affect what happens in combat in the majority of cases. And there's quite a few of those there. Okay, so gender we'll go for male. What should we call ourselves? We'll call ourselves Hoveredly, seeing as that's my YouTube handle. Yeah, all the graphics in the game, as you can see, are all ASCII based. And, and it's a bit of a roguelike idea, because there's a lot of randomness in there, which is what I love. So I'm going to go for the classic. No respawns, death is permanent, so it's a permadeath. And you've got a choice of three areas. You've got northern, central and southern. And each of these affects various different things. So the northern is the ability to bend the elements to your will. Central is the strength to take down enemies with brute force. And southern, the endurance to stop the most devastating of foes. So I'm going to go for northern. And we can choose our, our um, race. Now it's human, Cilian and Krast. And again, we've got various different advantages and disadvantages. Now I'm going um, so to go for Cilian actually. Machine, robot and biological. One of these they are not. The game's full of little comedy um, phrases and things. Um, I'll play the intro cinematic because it's worth watching. So I'll sit back and let that play. We thought the book would be closed for good. We thought this day would never come. We were wrong. Your eyes are transfixed on the crystal ball. Peering inside you see an open book. Many moons ago there existed a massive blade. it would spell certain doom for humanity if it were ever jostled. Cynthia, she, she wanted to touch it, feel it, and had spent many years searching. Until one fateful day, she managed to locate the majestic sword lodged inside a great boulder. She proceeded to shake it violently as much as she could. The sword did not budge, but instead it transformed her. She had cast away her human form. In doing so, she became known as the Matron. And she alone will be responsible for the destruction of humanity. Enter Cyrus the Magnificent. <laughs> yes, that's his actual name. His purpose to banish the Matron and to protect the few who remained. After defeating her in the Third War, he managed to trap her soul inside an ancient crystal. Even a great wizard such as Cyrus was no match for the darkness.
With the crystal shut, the matron was freed from her icy prison. No one knows what became of Cyrus. Not a trace of him remains. Some say Cyrus will come back for us. That I cannot believe. That. Sorry, and I don't know how I ever could. Brave adventurer, you are ex maybe experiencing some discomfort. I thought you'd want to survive out here, so I brought you a few things. It's just some silver, gold and a weapon, but it'll have to do for now. Go to gate 16. Our world is in dire need of your help. I must go now. There we are. So we've got some loot. We've obtained a silver key. We've got some heavy bags of gold. And our first weapon, which is a sword. Damage one. And it doesn't do anything to any of our stats. But we had no weapons at all, so we'll equip this. And that weapon is randomly generated each time you play the game. As is as, as are all the um, items in the game. And as you can see now, we're actually in-game. Hit points at the top, attack, 60 to 101. Um, MP, which are like magic points for skills, etc. And then we've got our gold. So the first thing we need to do is enter the gate and we've come across a blue slime. Now, most people probably who, who certainly know me know that I'm very much into gameplay. That's the key thing in a game. What I'm looking for is something which, if I sit down to play, I want a different experience. I want to not know what's going to happen when I play that game. One thing I, I don't put too much emphasis on is graphics. So this game is not going to win any awards for graphics. Or maybe for ASCII graphics. But gameplay, here we go. Let's, let's just show the combat. So we've got a gigantic blue slime blocking our path. It's got 3,000 hit points and we've, we've got 759. And the blue slime laughs at your measly weapon. <laughs> okay, so it says start your chain with a starter attack. So we're going to do a light jab. So we hit the blue slime for 85 damage, and the blue slime has bounced on you for 10 damage. We can then do a linker, which does a bit more damage. Grazed you, have hit the blue slime for only 111 damage. Blue slime has gooped you for 10. And then we've got another linker. <coughs> um, you've hit the blue slime with 123 damage. Blue slime has hit you for 10 damage. And then a fight finisher, which is the one that does the most damage at the end. So basically, all the moves linked together. It's like a combo, I guess. And now the slime is guarding; it's taking reduced damage. So we need to reposition ourselves. So you can see the top. It says you are prepared to use a you are preparing to use a reposition ability. Because when it's guarding, there's no point in hitting it. But we have to hit it first before we can get a chance to reposition. So we try we hit it. Oh, we haven't. We've done damage. Then reposition. And that recharges our hit points, sorry, our magic points, if we'd actually used any, which we haven't as yet. Medium punch, <coughs> heavy slam. Now we're wounded. So we need to heal ourselves, because what happens when you're wounded is your health goes down very, very quickly. So I'm going to click 4 to heal. Now this normally uses your magic points, MP, sorry. There we go, so we, we heal ourselves. Let's attack the slime again. <coughs> It's going to charge. Now this is the one that's been killing me off, actually. If you see charge, you need to reposition. So basically, you move out of the way of the charge. Then we'll punch it. Now he's in the yellow. This is looking good for us. Medium punch. And now we're cursed. So we can heal that, so... I'm oh, probably rushing through this, actually. Are we? Look. <laughs> Heavy slam. Ensnared. This is really the tutorial part. I was hoping not to put this on actually, but it doesn't matter. So now we have to break free from being ensnared. Which is easy enough to do. Uh cut to finish him. He's getting weaker and weaker. Another uppercut. We can also run as well the options down there, but I'm not gonna run away because I'm gonna get this slimy little git. Oh we got him. And as you can see the bottom says locked, 5, 10, 15. Basically, as you level up, you'll have better more skills which you can use in combat. So we've got the blue slime. And it's Diane. The strange, the, the, the strange, 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 I can't speak. And she tells me, it says, something tells me you're not quite ready for the task at hand. <laughs> if you're ever confused, go to the help menu in the character tab. You're going to take quite a beating, so press R in between battles. 
you'll get bonus XP for ex consecutive battles without healing or resting. Oh, I didn't realise that, that's cool. Um, this will heal you, it will consume one of your three heal charges. Yep, so basically you can heal three times between battle, sorry, between levels. Um, they replenish upon levelling up, which you can or you can purchase more. I didn't realise that either. Take the grassy road to the north, you may find some solace there. Good luck, the matron must be stopped at all costs. And there we are, so there's our character screen. So name hovered at the top, level 1, a Sicilian Barbarian male, classic, I think that's because we're on permadeath. Tells you all about the weapon, with no armor, shields or charms, and that tells us our, our stats, vitality is 30, strength 30, intelligence 1, so we're a bit gormless, dexterity 8, and wisdom at 1. So we're not going to win any awards for, for reading or casting any spells, etc. But we can hit people pretty hard. And we've now defeated the slime, so we've got an item. So it's going to randomly generate something for us. And we've got some armour. It's only armour 1, but it's better than nothing. And plus 2 vitality and plus 2 wisdom from it. So we'll equip that. And we've levelled up. So what I suggest doing, certainly... One thing I've found is vitality is key, because that puts your hit points up, and then strength. Maybe maybe for other characters this isn't going to be the case, but barbarians, which is what you need to be doing. And then dexterity, so we can evade. So we've got a passive skill point, so we're using a sword. Ah, sorry, this is the one where you've got a passive, so this, this max your hit points by 30, so it increases your hit points again, that's a good one. Um, increase the attack by 2.5. So that also gives a chance to bleed enemies, which is always good. Upgrade max magic points by 3. Or upgrade armor by 5. So I'm going to go for the hit points again. So 910 hit points. And we're using a sword. So the mastery of the blade is the one we're going to go for. Okay, so here we are. I'm not sure where we are, but we're here. Got lots of gold. So we could heal, but we're fully healed. So all I'm going to do is go to the grassy fields, which is... You can see the number 1 to 5 next to it. That denotes the level of the area. So all we should get come across is a monster of that level. But they do have certain um, abilities and things. So let's go see what, we find, what happens now. We've got a new a Ryu, a, a Roax has kicked you in the shin. And immune. So immune enemies are impervious to ultimates. Now we haven't come across ultimates yet, but they're special attacks. So we shouldn't have to worry about it too much. But I guess this is going to be quite tough. Okay, ready to fight. So, as you can see now, before when we were doing the tutorial, you couldn't see this information here, but you've got, if we do a cleave, it could, doesn't cost any MP, it's 50% attack, and it's an extra plus 102 damage. If we do a whirlwind as a starter, we get 10 MP, which we don't need because we've got 60, which is the max. It's 200% attack, which is fantastic, so it's sort of four, yeah, three times more powerful. Uh, but minus 182 hit points from ourselves. So again, you've got to weigh up which is the best option. And the Frenzy is a minus 10 MP and 20% attack. And then we've got the heal. So in this case, I'm just going to do a cleave. So there we go. So we'll look. So now, we could reposition, which gives us our 40 MP back, which we don't want to do. But we'll do a linker, which is the whirlwind. So it's the same move that was listed before. But this time, the number of hit points is less. It's only 40 we're going to lose. There we go. Now the, the Rax is guarding, so we need to move. So we'll reposition and restore MP, even though we don't need to, but we do need to move. There we go. Um, oh, it's going to charge. We do not want to be charged, because if I die now, I'll be really unhappy. So we reposition again. I think we're okay now. I think... I'm going to heal because I don't want to risk getting killed here. Oh, it's guarding again, so we need to do a we need to do a cleave first, which will be reduced damage and then reposition. Okay, and now we can do our uh, linker, which is our X whirlwind. It's guarding again. Um, reposition. damage to us, let's heal. Um, we'll cleave him. Whirlwind. Ooh, we're in the yellow now, this is looking good. Final blow, so this is a finisher, but I don't think he's going to finish him. Oof, nice. Um, we're in the yellow, he's in the red, but I don't want to be too low on 
under health. So we'll heal. Oh, it's guarding again. Reposition. Um, linker and bone crunch. And he's dead. And we've got full health. There we go. So the combat is quite strategic and it gets more so as you level up and, and, and learn new skills, etc. Okay, so we've got so we'll look XP on there, it doesn't take XP. Yes it does, plus thirty XP and hundred and twenty nine gold. And we didn't get any any nice items. So let's go and explore the grassy fields again. Ah. Hey, welcome to West Haven. Don't worry, I'm just a blacksmith, that's good. Let me give you a few meters and an ult. You look like you'll need it. Now this is a wall of text and I'm not going to read it to you but basically I'll explain it as we come across it in combat. But as you do combos you get ultimate attacks. Okay. Ah. Keep clicking past here. We'll get to the screen I want to be on. Yeah, it's just lots of information. Okay, so now we've got the blacksmith. You can press Q and see him. Um, he'll have one, two or three items. Currently they're all, he's got nothing, they're all sitting out to stock. He'll have scrap metal we can redeem. And what we do when we redeem it, we, it'll, it'll, put, it'll, it'll create a weapon for us for example and, and then we'll be able to see whether it's better than what we've got. Or we can activate a quest. In this case we can't really do very much. We could talk to him again if we wanted to. So let's go back and let's go back to the grassy fields. Ooh, event. A hot spring is found inside. Jump in, start screaming loudly, walk away. I'm going to jump in, because I'm a bit of a fool. The hot spring is boiling hot, scalding you. Oh, great. Ah, so our hit points have now dropped. <coughs> I wonder whether it's going to be worth heal. I think I'm going to quickly heal. I've got two heals left before we can level up. We're going to level up probably after the next battle, so let's go and do that. Ooh, skeleton molten mesmerite. Okay, these are the most common enemies in the game. And they're not very strong. But you just gotta be aware and be careful. So we've got more or less full health that we haven't have we? Is it what? Why have we not got full health? Oh well, doesn't matter. <coughs> Cleave, oh he's gonna charge. Right, we need to reposition. If you don't reposition when they charge, they seem to do I think they do double the double the maximum damage and some monsters that could be a real, real disaster. Okay, so now we can. We've got to break the guard, and then we'll like, ooh, and then seismic slam, and then our final blow should really finish him nicely. Oh, and the bones fall to the floor. Okay, destroy skeleton, and we should have levelled up. Item drop. Let's see what we get. Ooh, now they look at that. There, I've never had one of them before. Freezing thresh mall. Damage 31. So that's pretty much a lot better than we've got. Now, plus three intelligence, plus ten dex. Love it. Level that one. And the old item gets salvaged, which means we've now got some scrap scrap metal for the blacksmith. And we've leveled up. So we're now level oh, level three. Brilliant. So let's assign our stat points. So again we'll go for vitality two strength. And I'm gonna go we'll do our intelligence just a little bit since I'd like to be a bit more intelligent. <laughs> um, hit points again, and we're now using a maul, which is a maul, a maul, a maul, like a mace. So we've got a blunt master this time. Yeah, as it says there, gate 17 is a boss fight, so I'm not going to go through gate 17. Not too quickly anyway. Uh, so we don't need to heal, so I think we'll do the grassy fields again. Ooh, healthy mongrel is prepared to fight. So healthy enemies have more health than usual. Let's see if we can get the ult working this time. I'll show you how that works. So we cleave. And we do a whirlwind and a seismic slam. Now we're wounded, not good. So we'll heal ourselves. And we'll do another cleave. He's nearly dead. Ooh, um, we're bleeding. So we need to heal really. One more cleave. Um, so look, um, we can still heal, we've got plenty left, so let's do a whirlwind. 
It's a tough old little wolf. <coughs> oh, he's a dead little wolf now. It wasn't tough at all. Let's see what we get off him. Nothing. Okay, um, no point going to the blacksmith. Oh, let's go and see if he's got any items. No, he hasn't. So we'll go back. Right. Grassy fields. Off we go again. I have managed to reach level, I think 13 was my highest level in this, and lots of new things are introduced as you play, like a, you get to a point where you, you get into the village, I don't think I'm going to get that far on this next play, so what I'll probably do is save, and we'll um, continue it. I want to just um, probably get the boss, we'll try and kill the boss if we can. Now these guys, if I remember right, these, I get trampled by these, they don't half charge. So it's health, let's heal before we do anything else. And then we'll do a cleave. Whirlwind Slam. Okay, it's not, not that tough. And then we shall do a final blow. And another brutal rend, wow. Auroch is frozen. Ah, it's our weapon, so you won't be able to attack, I guess. That's cool. Wow. He's dead. No items again. Okay. Let's go back to the blacksmith. Still nothing. I love the little sound effects as you can run backwards and forwards. Another relax. We've dealt with these before. Okay. Cleave. <coughs> Bleeding, so let's heal. Well, MPs are quite low actually. Doesn't matter. Cleave, and now we're wounded. We've got to be quite careful that we have MP because if we don't. I need to take a charge, we'll be in trouble, so let's do a whirlwind this time. Oh, I'm going to repeat, oh, we'll do cleave again. And then a whirlwind. It's going to charge, right, we need to reposition. Um, it's dazed, so I'll slam him. Uh, can we finish him off here? Um, final blow, 170 cents, he should be able to. Oh no, nearly. Um, there we go. I'm just so unlucky here. But the blacksmith doesn't have any items either. Okay. Off we go. Let's try it. It's an insidious. Insidious enemies grow stronger every turn, so we need to get this guy finished off pretty quickly. So, give him a good. Oh, we're actually quite weak. Um, final blow. Wounded for. Who did you so if we do a quick heal? And then finish him off. Oh, our ultimate's ready for action, so we can use that in the next fight. Nothing again. Is it a blacksmith? Ah, oh, got an item, so if one view item. Um it'll basically create a random weapon that is going stock, and we can buy it if we wanted to, but it's damage 14, so it's not worth it. So if we say no thanks, what happens? puts in the bin. <laughs> so it's like a one-off. So you don't have to go back and buy it next time around or anything like that. Okay, so where are we now? Health good. Oh, is this an Auroch? A very strong Auroch. We're already wounded, so let's heal. Now then, crushing blow ultimate. As you can see, it takes no MP. Does 600% attack and restores to 47 hit points. Now, as we do our combos, that should change, I think. We'll see anyway. Because I've had that higher, maybe it isn't. Oh, well, it's not a problem. Restores hit points to us as well, which is cool. Um, we won't need it in this battle, I don't think. And it does carry over as well, which is cool. Right, the Oracle's en enraged which I think might increase the damage he's going to do to us, potentially. But then again, I'm just going to crush him. Ooh, I felt that. Um, and a finisher. Oh! <laughs> Please give us an item. Oh! We haven't got an item, but we've got... If you look, there's a little picture at the top there. We've got an X. So that's like, um... We can go and explore and get an event. Floating head is up ahead. Talk to it. Yeah, anyway, I'll slice it in half. Attempt to milk it. I'll walk away. I think I'll talk to it. 
It spits acid in your open mouth. God, I'm so lucky here. Um, how far off? Next level are we? Ooh, not far off. Go on, we'll use a heal. And we'll go back to the grassy fields. And the call orc is standing ready to lunge at you. Shielding still guard off in the air. It's not very powerful. We could actually kill him with one hit, probably with our crushing blow. Oh, he's guarding. Reposition. Uh, slam. Final blow. Oh, he's guarding again. So we can't do anything until we do a attack. And then reposition. And then attack again. And then the final move. Got him. And we have an item this time. Oh, a charm. So it's a defense one, plus seven intelligence, plus one dex. So we can equip that. We leveled up to level four now. Stat points. Okay, so we'll go vitality. Twice. And strength. And I'm going to go for dex this time. Uh, passive. Let's go for attack. We're still using the maul, which is good. So we'll use that again. Okay, we're full. I'm going to go for this boss actually now. And once I've beaten this boss, if I do, um, I'm going to finish this recording for now, and we'll continue for in the next part. Okay, the terminal. Um, user int buffer underflow detected. Not too sure what that means, but it sounds a bit scary. Um, we won't bother with the um, folks. I know what most of it is. Right, this is a shrouded enemy, which means we don't know how many hit points it's got. I do know it's got a lot. Now, um, so let's just attack as normal and see how we go on. Guarding, so we need to reposition. And then slam. Ooh, bleeding, so we need to heal. So you got to keep an eye on your MP so that you can, you, you've can. you got plenty there to heal if you need to. Reposition. Got bleeding again. Still heal. Guarding. Break free. Um, should do whirlwind. Bleeding again. Uh, should do the crushing blow. Let's do the crushing blow. So that's added a bit of hit points to ourselves and also taken his down quite a bit. I'm going to heal after that. And then we could do our normal attacks. Heal again. Need to be careful here. Guarding. Reposition. Let's get. Oh, I do need to do that. Oh, he's charging. Reposition. Do not want to get charged by anything too strong. Ooh, we felt that. And a finisher. Pretty weak now. You can see the bar of yellow dots under his hit points coming down dramatically. We'll heal. Oh, he's charging. Damn. We survived. To fight another day. Um, hit him hard that time. Cursed. Cursed means that like, it reduces your damage and things. So that's not good, so we don't want to be cursed. He's now in the red. Okay, so we need to do a finisher on him. Oh, he's critical now. We've also got our ultimate back, but we won't need it. What we could do with doing is cleave. Terminal is frozen, so we can't attack. And this should be the finisher. Oh. <laughs> he's a tough little cookie. New position, because he's guarding. He's wounded us, we don't be wounded. Brutal rend. Oh, we've got him. He had 8,000 hit points. Boss missing string. Great job smashing up that terminal. I was worried for a second there. Let me go ahead and show you around our camp. It's very high in a hitch. This is the village now. There's a shop we can trade. A vault. 
I've also got a tavern, so we can look at Lisa's jugs at the tavern, which is a little bit rude. <laughs> Bumbling bungle, boogaloons, bandits been coming on here. We've obtained a soul shard, so we get an al oh, plus one unallocated stat point. So we conquered the terminal. Item. We've got the shield. Block 8%, which is good. Plus 4 wisdom, plus 5 intelligence. So we'll equip that. Okay. And we're doing alright. Okay, well, what I'm going to do, I'm going to leave it there. Um, I'll put links as to where you can get hold of this game on the um, YouTube video when I've uploaded it. And um, I'd give it a go. It's certainly, um, I've enjoyed it. Before I move on, I'll just quickly show you the, um, the things in the town that we've got. If you go to the arena, for example, in fact, let's do the shop first. In the shop, we can buy silver keys, diamonds, mithril, and palladium. We can also sell the silver key that we have. We can talk as well. I'll go back to the other. In the crafting, now the crafting is really cool, but I'll save that for next time. It's got quite a nice little interface for that. Um, the tavern, we'll leave that for next time. The arena, what this does, it allows you to um, create randomised dungeons to explore. If you look at the questing keystones, and obviously if you beat all the monsters in the dungeon, um, you get all sorts of fantastic gear and things. And um, you can respec, and I think there's something called matchmaking unlocked at level 30, but I've not reached that yet. So level 4 at the moment. But I've had some great times playing this game. It's certainly worth a look. Okay, so this is Hoover Lair 32. Thank you very much for watching. I hope I didn't go too quickly through the, some of those screens. There's a lot of text on there to read. But obviously you can pause as you watch it. Um, and obviously if you want to comment and like and, and um, subscribe, pass, the, pass this around and, and don't forget to go on green light and give them a, give them a, um, a help to get on Steam. Cause, okay, it's not a game that's going to blow your mind graphically. But there's a lot of gameplay here. Alright then, well thank you very much.